Alright guys, welcome back to the stream. Uh, we've got Average Joes versus SMW in the opening round for the North American Verdun Championships. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Verdun is a World War I shooter uh, based on the uh, meticulous movements of, a, uh, world of, of trench warfare. And it is an absolute blast. Uh, we've got some of the best players in the world lined up here. Uh, Soren, why don't you give us a breakdown a little bit on the uh, on the teams we can expect to see today? So, uh, looking on the SMW side, uh, some standout players to look out for. Uh, definitely, CPU is a player who's very strong, um, who's shown some very good skill at certain times. He's kind of an inconsistent player. Some games he'll he'll not do too well, and then other games he'll do very very well. So it'll be interesting to see how he does today. Arcana is definitely another player who uh, has shown some decent skill in the past. Um, we have some new uh, standing players for these people. Funk, I don't think, is a player I've seen play for them before. Um, Monica Novak has played for them a few times before, but has never really been a huge standout player. Uh, Banshee is a is a pretty strong South American player playing for them. On the Angry Joe's side, or not Angry Joe's, sorry, uh, Average Joe's side, we're going to have uh, some of the standout players. This is mostly a team of, like, sort of pub players or average Joes, as you might expect. Not any particularly strong competitive players, but definitely some stronger uh, pub players. We're going to be looking at players like Ironstorm and Neil to uh, to be the, the bigger players for this. Uh, some veteran players who've been around a long time but haven't really played at all in competitive are players like Big Alute. Uh, keep an eye on him. He's been around for a long time. be interesting to see how he does. I, I don't, think, don't think I've seen him play competitively before, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes for him. Um, but overall, personally, I would I would probably give the favor to the SMW side. They're a bit more experienced in competitive play, uh, having played uh, in the recent BCL. Uh, most of their players played for uh, played for SOTG in that competition. So it'll be interesting to see how the match goes out. The map is going to be our Artois, which it's important to note that Artois is a slightly um, uh, German-sided map. So the Central Powers will have a slight advantage on these opening trenches. No, the map is the match is uh, just a quick note, guys. The match is not live right now. We're still waiting for a seventh player to join for SMW. The captains, team captains, have agreed to play 77 as both are down a player. We're just waiting on that seventh player for SMW, and as soon as they join, we're going to get the match started. All right, Soren, thank you very much. We got uh, we also have Nord and Meeks with us today. Uh, Nord Meeks, what is uh, what? I know you guys are very active in the competitive community. What are your takeaways on? Uh, on the two teams we're seeing today? Uh, well, we played against SMW, uh, obviously not as SMW, but as a different clan of SOTG, and some of their players as air. I'm not sure how many air players they have now uh, in the game, but uh, they were most certainly uh, SOTG back then. They were actually a, a, fairly, a fairly good team. Um, I believe a majority of that team came from the remnants of the, the the Latin American team that we had back in the ANC, and that was the American Nations Cup, for anyone who doesn't know, when we had a regional team. So we had an American team, a Canadian team, and a, a Latin American team all playing against each other. It was a nice little tournament, and that's basically the what the team is now. It, it came from that. Um, I, it's hard to say because a lot of the players on Average Joes are players that we've we, we've met them in pubs. And we, we we've played with almost all the people here, but it's hard to say how they will perform competitively. So yeah, it's, it's, it certainly uh, it certainly sounds like Average Joes are the uh, are going to be the underdog uh, today. What are the uh, what are the uh, uh, details on the map that we're going to be playing on today? Uh, what do we? Uh, what can we expect as far as strategies goes? What are the strong footholds? Uh, and what are? Uh, yeah. What 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 strategies do these players need to take? Well, I would expect. Well, the thing is, Artois is a very um, it's a very competitive map in the sense that a lot of players like playing it when you're playing competitive eight v eight. I think you'll find that it'll be very easy for the players on both sides to get into the enemy trench. So um, I believe many of the uh, tenser moments in the game are going to come down to uh, uh, more footholds trying to get people out of the trench. 
So it'll be a very it'll be a map that favors whoever's more offensive. I think. Okay. It's very bad to be static on this map because you'll it will cost you dearly later on. And uh, and Meeks, what uh, what uh, uh, what is your, what is your experience with the teams we're playing today? Have you got you guys are both on pest control? Is that correct? Yes, both Meeks and Nord are on pest control. Okay. So just real quickly, is Meeks actually here or? I think he's gone to warm up. Okay. We are down to Meeks so, at the moment. Meeks might not be here at the moment, but yeah, <laughs> uh, we're both on pest control. We both okay. played with both of these teams. Meeks played against SOTG, but with air uh, back in the VCL. Um, however, as I said, I don't think any of the players currently on the SMW lineup are uh, uh, former air players. I think these are all players who are. Uh, uh, I know from they. Ha I know they have. I know they have uh, players on their roster, but they're not running any of them right now. Yeah. It so. looks like they might be having some manpower issues, but it looks like we are going to be live yep. on restart, according yep. to. Yep. So it is going to be a seven v seven match for this first match. Unfortunately, neither team could field eight players, but we do have a fair match, so it should be interesting to see how it goes down. <laughs> 